Welcome to Cash Your Travel. Today we are going to see about Gunung Mulu National Park, Malaysia. The Gunung Mulu National Park is a national park in Meri Division, Sarawak, Malaysia. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site that encompasses caves and karst formations in a mountainous equatorial rainforest setting. The park is famous for its caves and the expeditions that have been mounted to explore them and their surrounding rainforest, most notably the Royal Geographical Society expedition of 1977 to 1978, which saw over 100 scientists in the field for 15 months. This initiated a series of over 20 expeditions now named the Mulu Caves Project. The national park is named after Mount Mulu, the second highest mountain in Sarawak. History. The earliest reference to the Mulu Caves was in 1858 when Spencer Street, John, British Consul in Brunei, mentioned about the detached masses of limestone, much water worn, with caverns and natural tunnels in his book Life in the Forests of the Far East. Spencer tried to ascend Mount Mulu later, but failed due to limestone cliffs, dense forests, and sharp pinnacles. In the 19th century, Charles Hose, an administrator in the Raj of Sarawak, attempted to climb Mount Mulu but failed. It was only in the 1920s when a Boroan rhino hunter named Tamanillan discovered the southwest ridge near the mountain, which eventually led to the summit. In 1932, Tamanillan led Edward Shackleton during an Oxford University expedition to the summit of Mount Mulu. 4. This is the first successful ascent to the summit of Mount Mulu. 3. In 1961, G.E. Wilford, of the British Borneo Geological Survey visited Mulu Caves. He surveyed the Deer Cave and Cave of the Winds. He also predicted that more caves will be discovered in the future. In 1974, Mount Mulu and its surrounding areas were gazetted as national park by the Sarawak government. In 1978, the Royal Geographical Society organized a scientific expedition to the Mulu National Park, the largest such expedition ever to be dispatched from the United Kingdom. Point the expedition lasted for 15 months in the course of which a small subgroup explored and surveyed 50 kilometers of caves, including Clearwater Cave, Green Cave, Wonder Cave, and Prediction Cave. At that time, there was no airport and no logging roads available at Mulu. A base camp was established at Long Pala. The base was a three-day journey from Miria Priva. Thus the exploration of the caves in the western flank of Mount Api began. In December 1980, another British expedition team was dispatched to Mulu Caves for four months. In this expedition, Sarawak Chamber, which lies in the Guanasa Bagus was discovered in 1984. Gunung Mulu was designated as a Sian Heritage Park. In 1985, the park was officially opened to public in a British expedition in 1988. A link was established between Clearwater Cave and Cave of the Winds which extends the Clearwater Cave to 58 kilometers, 190,000 feet. Claimed to be the longest cave passage in Southeast Asia, Black Rock Cave was also discovered during this expedition. In 1991, a connecting passage was discovered between Black Rock Cave and Clearwater Cave. This extends the Clearwater Cave passage to 102 kilometers, 335,000 feet, leading it to be the seventh longest cave passage in the world. Between 1993 and 2000, British expedition teams explored the eastern flank of Mount Api with several discoveries made in the Hidden Valley. Between 1995 and 2000, an American expedition team from National Speleological Society surveyed Gunung Buda, Mount Buda, 9. In these expeditions, Deliverance Cave was discovered. In 2000, Gunung Mulu National Park was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site, covering an area of 52,864 hectares. 
528.64 km2. It is the largest national park open to tourists in Sarawak. 10. In 2001, Dunung Buda National Park was gazetted by the Sarawak government. Since 2000, British expedition team shifted their focus to explore the caves around Mount Banerat. As a result, White Rock Cave, at Mount Zappi, was discovered in 2003. In 2005, White Rock Cave was linked to Clearwater Cave System, thus extending the Clearwater System to 129.4 kilometers. Appy Chamber was also discovered in the same expedition. Subsequent explorations were focused on unearthing more hidden passages in the White Rock Cave. In 2017, White Rock Cave was measured to 100 kilometers, 330,000 feet, and Clearwater Cave was measured to 226.3 kilometers, 742,000 feet. Geography The limestone pinnacles of Mount Api. Paku Waterfall Entrance into Deer Cave. Dunungmulu National Park is the most studied tropical karst area in the world. It has 295 kilometers of explored caves which houses millions of bats and swiftlets. 13. The National Park is located at 100 kilometers, 330,000 feet, from Brunei. Citation needed, lies between the headwaters of Tito River and Mendelum. River where the latter is a tributary of the Limbang River. 7. The western side of the park Ololand area, 38% of the park, and the eastern side are the mountain ranges consists of limestone and sandstone. The land forms in the park, consists of rugged summits, steep ridges and escarpments, sheer cliffs, gorges, cast towers, caves, and terraces, hot springs, floodplains and waterfalls. The park is dominated by three mountains, Mount Mulu, 2,376 meters, 7,795 feet, Mount Api, 1,750 meters, 5,740 feet, and Mount Binerat, 1,858 m, 6,096 feet, 14. Mount Mulu is a sandstone mountain, meanwhile, Mount Api and Mount Benerit are limestone mountains. The summit of Mount Mulu is covered by moss forests, while the limestone pinnacles are found on the upper part of the Mount Api. The Melanor Gorge separates Mount Benerit from Mount Api point meanwhile, Mount Buda is separated from Mount Benerit by Medalum Gorge. Mount Buda is included in another national park named Gunung Buda. The national park has three notable caves. Sarawak Chamber, one of the world's largest underground chambers. 16. Deer Cave, the largest cave passage in the world. And Clearwater Cave, the longest cave system in Southeast Asia. The Sarawak Chamber is 600 meters, 2,000 feet long, 415 meters, 1,362 feet wide and at least 80 meters, 260 feet, high, yielding a volume of 12 million m3, 420 million cubic feet, and an unsupported roof span of 300 meters, 980 feet. Meanwhile, the Deer Cave is at 120 meters, 390 feet, to 150 meters, 490 feet in diameter. As of October 2018, Clearwater Cave has 227.2 kilometers, 745,000 feet of explored passages. Other caves in this area are Guanasab Bagus, Banerat Cavern, and Cave of the Winds. Geology The geology of the park consists of metamorphosed sedimentary sequence of Paleocene-Miocene age. Mount Mulu is located at the southwest of the park. It was formed from Paleocene Upper Eocene with the interbedding of sandstone and shales. The remaining mountains, Mount Api, Mount Binerat, and Mount Buda, are located the western flank of Mount Mulu. 
These three younger mountains were formed from 40 km band of karstic limestones during the Upper Eocene Lower Miocene period. It is in this band that the extensive cave system was developed. The cave formation was the result of tectonic uplift of the karst at 2 to 5 million years ago. The caves are typical of the tropical river caves, which exhibits various features such as elliptical tubes linking different levels of the cave, and spoliathum including aragonite and calcite needles. The limestone are either extremely white or grey. The pinnacles on Mount Api are the result of extreme weathering of limestone rocks the soil in the National Park range from PT Podzalic through red-yellow Podzalic to black organic soil. Thank you.